Howdy folks, today we're going to talk about how to test for parasitic draw in your RV or camper. We're going to use our fluke meter today, and that's coming up. Alrighty folks, so this is going to be a pretty simple test with a fluke meter. We're going to test for parasitic draw. Parasitic draw is something that's pulling power from your batteries when you're not using the camper, when you don't want anything draining your batteries. So what you got to do is you got to start here, you're going to have to take your positive lead and you're going to have to put it over on your amp side of your meter like I have here. Just a quick forewarning for you. While doing this test, make sure that everything is off on your camper. If you're testing your battery system like I will be in this video, make sure that your camper is not plugged into shore power or at least the main breaker is turned off. These meters can only handle up to a 10 amp or 20 amp amount of energy going through them. The fuse will go or you'll burn up your meter, which would be a bad thing. This is a good meter, you don't want to ruin it. Alrighty, so here I am set up to do the test. I have my black wire connected to the ground on my battery, and I have the red wire coming from the meter attached to the ground on my 12 volt distribution panel. As you can see right now, there is 0.005 amp draw. This means that there is almost no amp draw on the system. With almost no amp draw on the system, this means there is no parasitic draw. Now if I turn on a light to simulate a parasitic draw, you'll see this go up. 0 0.316, 0 0.315 amps are being drawn currently. That would mean if you had everything else off, no lights, no pump, no nothing, that would mean that you have a parasitic draw. Again, if we shut off the light and you have 0 .005, that would mean that there is no amp draw and there is no parasitic draw on your battery system to drain your batteries. Alrighty folks, that's a quick easy way to test for parasitic draw in your RV or camper. This would work in boats or cars too. Uh, keep in mind, uh, there is a little variant there, 0 .005 is a really good number to have. It means there's like next to nothing for an amp draw. Also, if you want a fluke meter like this one, it's a wonderful meter. It's the model 117. I'll have a link below to an Amazon where you can get your very own fluke meter. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. See you in the next video.